In this Illustrator tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe's new feature called Intertwine. Intertwine works with both shapes and text. Let's take a look at two examples here. The first, I just have some rectangles out here laying over the top of each other. If I wanted to overlap or weave these rectangles through each other, I would have to do a lot of different cutting. But if I select all, I can actually now in Illustrator 2023, so you have to be updated, go up to object down to intertwine and hit make. Now this little tool pops up and all I need to do is circle the parts that I want to be overlapping. So essentially I'm going to be sort of reversing which object is overlapping the other. So if I want this area to overlap, all I have to do is circle it and it does it. Maybe down here I do the same thing. So now it goes over, under, over. Maybe I want to do the opposite up here. Maybe I want it to go under, over in the middle, and then under, and the same thing down here. Just click where you want these things to overlap. If you want to reverse it, simply circle it again. So that is how to use the intertwine tool to make things overlap. Now, once you have that object, it's basically a group. It's an intertwined group. If we go over to our layers, we'll notice we have this intertwine and we have these different paths. So it functions as a group now. If I wanted to go back in and edit that, I can do one of two things. I can release the entire group, which turns it back to its original state. So now it's a bunch of objects again or I can go up and edit and I can go back in here and do the same thing. I can make my edits with this intertwine. Now this works with text as well. So if I select both the letters, these are just two separate letters that I've laid on top of each other. Select them both. Let's make an intertwine by going up to object down to intertwine, hit make, and I could circle this portion of the F. So now the S comes underneath the F over the top of it and then back under again. Or if I wanted to, I could circle that back, kind of reverse it, and I could maybe take this portion of the F and send it behind. The F kind of goes over the S here and then under the S there. This becomes an intertwined group and this text, technically you could hop in here and edit it, but if it doesn't fall over the same spot, like for instance, if I put the T in here, things start to get a little weird. Now, if you wanted to make that edit, all you'd have to do is double click out of the group, go back to the object. And what you could do really quickly is release it. That might be a case where you release it and then maybe you move some of these things around, select it again, go up to object, down to intertwine, hit make, and then recreate whatever the intertwine is that you want with potentially this new letter. So there's an S and a T that overlap with each other. That's the new intertwine tool here in Adobe Illustrator 2023.